Well, you know, I would look to uh, our our neighbor to the south, who where most of our or many of our many of our businesses and jobs and taxpayers now reside. Um, they took a completely opposite approach to Maryland. Uh, Maryland basically said we're going to experiment and we're going to be first and we're going to try, we're going to have the greatest site in the world, we're going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars. It was a complete and utter failure. Virginia said, you know what, we have great private sector exchanges here in Virginia and if you want to take advantage of the Affordable Care Act, you can go on the federal site, which while it wasn't working great at the beginning, it's certainly functioning a lot better than Maryland's is right now. And Maryland, without spending that money, signed up, I believe, three times as many people as Maryland did during the same period of time. So um, we called for, uh, first of all, we, we thought uh, they should stop spending money when it was failing the first time, when they kept saying, we got it fixed, it's working better. They brought in a second contractor and a third contractor. And you know, it, right, right before the complete failure of it, this is the one that, that is just unbelievable to me. Uh, and you guys that are covering this, I can't believe it wasn't a bigger deal for you. Um, it was something like 4.45 on a Friday evening, the governor had a press conference to say, we fixed most of the glitches, it's functioning great, encouraging people to go on the site to sign so up. Was it in December, I think? Whenever the, they kept chain, moving the deadline and changing the, the, they kept moving the goal lines because they couldn't meet any of their goals. The last one I'm talking about, it wasn't in December, it was more recently. Uh, four hours later, or five hours, at 9.45, they said, we're abandoning, we're going to abandon the whole site. You know, they knew that the site was not functioning properly. They were basically not telling people the truth. Um, uh, but I don't think you could possibly have a worse, there's no, you couldn't create a more mismanaged situation than that. And, uh, I mean, people that are very much in favor of the Affordable Care Act and, and think it's the greatest thing uh, for our country and, and for this state, are outraged that these guys have failed so miserably. So, um, you know, that they've just proven themselves unable to do it. So, number one, we shouldn't have spent the money in the first place. Number two, we shouldn't have now decided to go rent the system for $60 million from Connecticut, who figured out how to do it better than we did. Um, we should have just let people use the federal site and the private exchanges, which many other states have done. Um, that's That would have been the solution. And what about the Medicaid expansion? The Medicaid expansion, um, you know, is not something I've really taken a strong position on or looked into, you know, a whole lot. I mean, it's uh, it's kind of all confused with the whole rollout of this thing. And I know most of the people they were they were signing up were 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 they were expanding that program rather than getting people actually paying into the system. Um, but um, you know, I, I haven't really taken a position on it.